2001 Passat AUG engine. We're going to do a throttle body cleaning. First stage, first step rather, is removing it from the vehicle. I'm going to get the coolant expansion tank out of the way. Three Phillips screws. I like to put them up here where they won't get lost. Make sure you don't drop them while you're taking them out because they'll disappear into the engine bay and you'll have a hard time finding them. So that is movable. Underneath it, there's an electrical connector for the level sensor. Comes off. That's how that's how you get that disconnected and out of the way. Charge hose connected to the throttle body. I'm using a Phillips. We'll loosen the hose clamp. <clears throat> Work the rubber hose off. It's normal for there to be a little bit of oil in there. Excessive oil could mean you've got problems elsewhere. Okay, we've got an electrical connector here. Pull on the tab and carefully work the connector apart. Come on. There we go. I've got what is this? Five mil Allen wrench. There's four Allen bolts that hold the throttle body to the intake manifold. Once again, I'll put them up here in the cowl. That way they're not going anywhere. Like I said, there's four <clears throat> Allen bolts holding this on. This is the second one out. fourth one out. Now if you're doing this on an older AEB, you'll have a cable throttle assembly and also a linkage going down to a vacuum motor for your cruise control. All the newer ones are going to be drive-by wire, so it's just that electrical connection. There we go. There's your dirty. This one's not too terrible, really. Because it was cleaned by someone very thankfully about a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's the end of this segment, and we'll show you how to clean it next. All right, we're filming. All right, throttle body, get a good shot of the dirt in there, can you see it? That's from the back side, here's the intake side, are you getting an image of that? Yep. Okay, I'm going to use throttle body cleaning spray to clean the throttle body, go figure, goofy me. Always being a rebel. This stuff is pretty good at dissolving this goo. Get it wet with the solvent. Take a relatively clean rag, and some people use a toothbrush, and then you see the stuff just starts wiping out. Lovely, huh? That gook. Now, you don't want to put a whole lot of force or torque on that plate. That plate is a precision piece and you do not want to bend it or gouge it or scrape it. Okay. I'm going to hold this open with my thumb and continue cleaning with my relatively clean rag. Get as much of that goop out of there. The most important part to clean is 
Okay. When it's closed, the very, very bottom is a slight, slight crack. And this is where you're going to be for idle, this first couple degrees of opening. That's the most critical area to clean. Uh, that, that could affect um, um, a stable idle and give you an uh, unstable idle. So as the uh, ECM needs to add a little more throttle, it moves this a little bit. And if that area is dirty and doesn't give it a clean, um, oh. continuously, you know, opening airflow, it makes it hard for the ECM to control your throttle and your idle. So I don't know if you can see that. It's starting to look pretty good. Is that showing on the camera? Like I said, particularly right where you see my finger, that, that crack edge where it's going to want to be doing this sort of thing to maintain an idle as load changes. Load changes could include AC compressors engaging, disengaging, um, electrical loads being imparted by the alternator, uh, putting it in drive imparts a good load to the engine, and the ECM is going to keep this modulated and throttle it to whatever degree it needs to maintain your idle, your set idle RPM. A little more. I'm cleaning the plate itself, the edges of the plate itself. How's that look? Is that look good? That's pretty clean. All right. All good. Yep. All right. We're about to put the throttle body back on. You see that's the gasket on the intake manifold. Uh, we're going to reuse it because it looks pretty good. All right. Pull back. Yep. Throttle body's clean. We're about to uh, reinstall it. We've got four Allen headed. These are what? Five mil. And you're threading into an alloy casting, so you want to make sure you do not cross thread anything. Go ahead and take your time. Thread out, thread in, whatever it takes. Make sure you're threading it in. Are you a little off? To the threads. Okay. And that cross threading. It should go in a good distance with little to no effort. That's a good indication that your threads are lining up and going in and not cross threading. I'm putting in, and this is a good practice to do when putting the multiple fasteners in any assembly. Get them all in. Get them all in loose. I can get, you know, if I get the first one in and started and I torque it all the way down, the assembly might not be perfectly aligned and I'm going to have difficulty getting in the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, what have you, adapter or um, fastener. The best way to do it is to get all the fasteners in and thread it down a good deal of the way. Now we can think about doing our final placement and torque. I've got them all in just bottomed out, just barely bottomed out. And there's very little movement. I've got it about centered where it allows me to move it. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten down. I'm going to cross and hit these fasteners on opposite corners. Get them tightened down. Get the other two in opposite corners. Uh, Bentley spec is about what was it, seven foot pounds. Mm -hmm. Final torque on these. that ok 
Okay. It's on there. Body adaption. I hooked up the VACOM and these are the codes that weren't there before but are there now. I don't know with the glare if you can read any of this. Uh, three faults found. 17951 angle sensor 1 for throttle actuator G187 P1543 dash 35 dash double zero signal too small I've got 17580 angle sensor 2 for throttle actuator G188 signal too low P1172 dash 35 dash 00 the uh, angle sensor I believe is two different uh, variable resistor sweep arms and it checks the one value against the other value so it's like two sensors built together and then the third code is 17987 uh, throttle actuator J338 and that's a P1579 code dash 35 dash 10 adaption not started intermittent do a throttle body adaption via VAGCOM uh, we just had this apart and unplugged so its values are likely no longer uh, you know uh, calibrated to the ECM. Uh, we've got the ignition on. I just cleared codes and I'm looking at the VCDS screen and uh, group 60 uh, throttle valve sensor 1 is at 14.8 percent throttle valve sensor 2 is at 85.2 percent but it's fluctuating a little. Now I'm gonna say switch to basic settings and you see it's yep. doing some things here. Yeah, it's open a portion. Probably more than idle. And I'm reading off the VCDS screen. It says throttle body alignment 15.6 is sensor 1, 84.0 is sensor 2, throttle adaption steps counter is 8. It says adapt OK. Uh, down on the bottom of the screen, prerequisites. Ignition on, engine off. The throttle body alignment is complete when field 4 shows adapt OK. Field 4 is showing adapt OK, so I'm going to hit switch back to measuring blocks. Just did. And my new measuring block screen is showing 14.8 throttle valve and sensor 1, and again fluctuating 84, 85 point something percent. Sensor 2, throttle valve step counter is at 8, and adapt says OK. So that was an adaption.